What's good my boys? Splashy here and today's video will be on everybody calling him trash because he an inside but when I tell you this is the most dominant center on the game he bullying Kareem, he bullying KP, he bullying AD, he bullying Tim you just gotta know how to do what you gotta do luckily you feel me I had one with 21 hoffs I had to replace some of the hoffs because they were useless like he had like special delivery and floor general and stuff on but luckily I found one with extra hoffs but if we go through his stats like uh, I gave him plus four free throws so 70 free throw max post moves Max draw foul, max close shot, 50 midi, 26-3. So since he got a 26-3, most of the people you watch their videos, they're going to say, ah, well, he's not going to be viable because he can't shoot. And I and in. That's what I'm here for. 73 ball handle, 66 pass act, 80 pass, I mean, 60, 66 pass IQ, 80 pass act, max block, max interior. You can get it to a 90 steal with a shoe. 85 perimeter, max rebound, almost max speed. If you got Monty, max speed. 80 speed with ball at the center, max vert, max strength, almost max stam, <laughs> 90 acceleration, and 85 lateral quickness. He can put the ball on the ground. He can finish in the paint. He get probably every rebound off the rim. Like, he just got it. Uh, let's see. So the badges you should be putting on him is... Let's see. The badges you should be putting on him is... Slippery off ball, dimer... See, give him clutch shooter for free throws. He doesn't need bailout, by the way. If I give you the, the actual badges he does, you got to remember, my hat off badges, so it, it's pretty hard. I didn't want to replace all of them. Give him off-ball pest. Give him unpluckable. <coughs> give him slithery. Then after you give him slithery, you give him dimer, you give him break starter, and you give him clutch shooter. That's probably the best badge you can give him. And that'd be that. Replace one of those. I don't remember if I just said slippery. If I didn't say slippery, replace one of those, like break starter or something for slippery. And that'd be the six badges you should be giving him. Now, for a shoe, I know it's a lot of y'all who like using. He's Reebok, by the way. I know it's a lot of y'all that like using post badge. So, if y'all like using post badge, all you got to do is give him plus four post hook and plus four post control. And this gives him post score badge. So I'm going to give you the shoe to give him post score badge. Then I'm going to give you the regular shoe. But <coughs> you give him <coughs> post hook, post control, free throw, steal, and perimeter. If you want to give him post badge. If you don't want to give him post badge, you just take away the post ones because they're already basically max. That's just if you want post badge. But if you want rebounder, if you do want rim, I have not tested it yet. I believe if you give him a plus three block, it should Give him rim. I can't really test it because mine already got a new shoe and I'm sick of uh, wasting my shoes. So y'all could test out giving him a plus three block and see if that gives you rim badge. If you guys want to do rim badge or plus four interior because I know some of you guys like uh, are on current. And I know those are the best badges on the game over there. But other than that, then you give him, you give him free throw. If you're not trying to just give him a specific badge and one, just give him his best stats. Give him free throw. Give him perimeter. You give him lateral quickness. <coughs> You give him stamina because you just won in 99 because, man, that's a big guy. He be using all his stamina dang near every single possession. And then you give him speed to get his speed as high as possible. And that would be the shoe that I would give Shaq. So I gave you the post score shoe. I gave you the regular shoe. And if you want to get him rim badge, give him plus four interior and plus three block to make sure his stats are max. I can't really do much in freestyle with him. I can take him. I can take you there just so you can see his burst and see how he can probably create off the dribble if somebody tries to sit paint. Other than that, I can only uh, show y'all so much, but yeah. So for some reason, he actually has a good speed boost. For some reason, he can backward escape. He can miss direction. For some reason, he has the step behind the back. It's like they like gave him crazy annies for no reason. Like I don't know why they gave him the crazy annies, but it's like they gave him crazy annies for no reason. You can hit a midi if you put a shoe on it, but three-pointer, trust me, just don't even just try to attempt shooting it. Just stick to using him how he's using him. A lot of people are going to be calling him trash just because of the fact that he's not Kristaps Porzingis. As I always told y'all, if a center is not on Porzingis' level with shooting the ball, most people are going to call him trash because you, with this game, it's a lot of variety of cards that you're allowed to use, and if it doesn't fit a specified play style, people don't want to use them. <laughs> the main specified play style is having a popper because when people sit on their center, some people can't score because they don't dribble good enough to get somebody into a screen. If you don't know how to really get somebody into a screen, then <coughs> you have to have a popper because they have to worry more about your rim run. 
And if you have like an inside or somebody like who isn't, why do you think most people spot up Kareem and don't have them set in the screen? Because they're just going to throw him to pop. They rarely have Kareem row because they can't get another person into the screen. That's why people want Kareem because he somehow shoots like he has an 83 and it's, he's more dangerous spotting up for most because they can't run pick and roll. But you see with KP's on the court, they run pick and roll, pick and pop with him every single play. As you can see, he has a good burst, good dunks. Not much more I can show you in freestyle. So let's get straight to the gameplay, shall we? Now listen, we got a lot of gameplay for Shaq. We got gameplay in a comp game versus Chris Guy, who stream sniped me. This is the same guy who beat me in Quiles. I played him like five times in the last few days. We got gameplay in Limited. We got gameplay all over the place, so just step in. So, what Shaq putting on the court does prevent other people from doing this switch and all. As you can see, he's trying to switch all Magic Johnson, Easy Lay. Some centers, like even, even you see he's trying to switch all, but Shaq is beating them to the paint. It's because inside centers have better animations. You see, this is not me trying to show off. Like, obviously, yeah, you just dunk it out of the eye. This is me showing you the switch all play style doesn't work when Shaq's on the court because he can score off the switch unless you're switching, like, AD or somebody on to him, you feel me? Look, I'm even bullying D12. He's just bullying people down there. Like, I usually don't even show people centers gameplays, but I'm just showing you that, like, Shaq finishing the paint at a high rate. And if you really want to get glitchy, you can really give it to him at the three and take somebody to the Baja. Like, you see how he's sitting paint. I take off on him. Easy green dunk. If you know how to stick dunk, it makes Shaq ten times better. As you can see, he's trying to switch all, and it's just not working. A lot of comp people's play styles and a lot of fake, give me that. A lot of fake people's play styles is just switching all. And switching all doesn't work. That's why so many people, oh, good pass, Shaq. Oh, my God, Larry Legend. But a lot of people don't like use. Oh, let me get to this Baja. Hold up, hold up. Pause the sentence. Ugh. Uh, is that Keem? He's just too small. But as you can see, I'm using Shaq how Shaq supposed to be used. You see, he's trying to switch all. But Shaq, yes, I play him back to back. <laughs> but Shaq is just annihilating him. This is Shaq versus Lori Mark. And then just put him down there. Just put him down there. That's all you got to do. You just got to use people to their play styles. And people don't like using people to their play styles. And yes, this, this person right here was comp, though. Like, he's comp. He did beat me in quads. Shaq is literally violating this switch off. So then I took him in a limited just so I could have some fun. And when I went to go have some fun with Shaq, I really was putting on a master class. You see how quick his burst is? We right to the Baja and won. That's on Jared Allen. Jared Allen ain't the best car, but I mean, Jared Allen not just a complete bum. And I was in limited more to just show off the fact that for some reason Shaq speed boosts faster than LaMelo and Penny and Kobe and somehow has a better behind the back and burst off his every move. Like, I don't know what be going on. I don't know what they, th I mean, oh, hold up. <laughs> but I mean, Shaq was kind of moving like this IRL, so. I mean, hey, you see the Steph behind the back. He went zone to try to stop my Shaq. I didn't care. I'm going down there and I'm hooping. But as you can see, like, you can use Shaq Midi. Ugh, Jesus Christ, Splash. But you can you still use Shaq. A lot of people just not going to want to use him because he doesn't fit their play style. And that's what y'all got to understand. A lot of cards are used and put on display when different people use them. Like, a person like Tim Thomas will be put on display in a gameplay by me. Way better than probably anybody else except probably one or two people. But then, like, let's say a Giannis, I wouldn't put on that good of a gameplay with Giannis because Giannis really isn't my play style. That's why, Blitz, man. That's why Giannis really isn't on my court anymore. Like, you feel me? Uh, Shaq, back to Kobe. Back to Shaq, back to Kobe. He's looking like 0-1 Lakers. Then you see, I go into limited with the all-time Lakers theme team. You see Van Exel, Rick Fox, Robert Ory, Kobe, and Shaq. Oh, and for all of y'all who think KP stand a chance, this is this was me trying out post bash. For all of y'all who think KP even stands a chance, KP doesn't even stand the slightest chance down there. He might get you a stop or two, but he's going to get ran around. He's going to get dunked on. He's going to get treated like a little boy, just like Shaq should be treating him, though. So, like, that's all y'all got to remember. Um, I do not think he will fit most people's play style, though, because you got to actually, like, get gritty to use him. Like, you got to be able to create off the screen. You got to want to hit the slip. You got to want to be different. You see, I'm hitting him on the run. He made good reads because they gave him, like, 80 pass sack, and that's the threshold where centers just throw beams. See, it's just Shaq versus KP. This was just me just treating KP. This is this is, this is is most people's center one because he pops every play, and this is just me just treating KP. That's all this was, was me treating KP. Need that? Yep, he's quick enough to get up to the pop because he got max speed, baby. He got max speed, baby, and that's the gameplay, baby. All in all, I do think if you can run an inside center, like, that means you are good enough with your Steph Curry, your Trey Young, your Darius Garland, your Tim Thomas, your Ricky Davis, your Kobe Bryant, your Carmelo Anthony, whoever you run your offense with, 
Shaq is the best center on the game. Now, if you want me to give you the realistic rating of most people's play styles, in order it goes KP number one, because KP makes everybody's offense have a lot of fluidity to it. Like, you can't help. Nobody's disrespecting KP. The game's on rookie, so he's green in 45% if you leave, if you leave him any space. Two would be Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, because most people don't manually rebound. They don't click on go get their own rebounds. And Kareem will worm three people, grab board, and he is the second best masher on the game now that Shaq is on the game. Three would be Tim Duncan. Four would be Shaq. I would put Shaq over AD at center, but I wouldn't put Shaq over Tim Duncan with how good, you know, Tim Duncan is defensive-wise, etc. So that's where his realistic rating would be. His realistic rating would be right there, <laughs> probably top four, top three. If he was on my tier list, he would be in the skill gap rate. You feel me? Where I would put, like, for my centers, like, I would give them a skill gap tier, and I would put Shaq in the skill gap tier. If y'all see me on stream, y'all gonna see me using them to the fullest. He's gonna probably average 20 points, because everybody just gives up the slip anyways, and I'm sick of running. It's so much better when you have a real center setting your screens, as long as you know how to get them into the screen. Now, the only thing you gotta worry about is empty stats. Like, your Shaq might have 20 and 10, but you might be down 5, because they're just getting it, which means now you have to, since they're just giving it up, you have to make sure you get it back on the defensive end, which is what he'll be able to do. His defensive animations are ridiculous. There's nothing much more to say. He does have a 26-3, so for most people, I do not recommend him for you. It takes a lot of skill to use an inside center on this game, but he is the most dominant center on the game, as he should be. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Just me showing y'all, like, I'm telling you, with this game compared to other games, there isn't a such thing as just a completely bad card. With how broken the paint is, literally, especially, like, that's what I don't get how people are saying he's trash. With how broken the paint is, Shaq is allowed to do anything he wants in the restricted area because of how broken the paint is. Such as, like, even when I was saying Patrick Ewing, Patrick Ewing was decent. Like, with how broken the paint is, bro, as long as, and how easy it is to shoot, y'all done seen me use Patrick Ewing, and I'm going 8 for 8 in quiles, slow fading on the break. Like, it's really easy to play this game, especially if you play next gen. So, in that situation, you have to remember, cool. All right, I'm going to go up. I'm going to try them out or do whatever you do. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Stop by the Twitch. Splashy. Let me know what it is. I stream every day. 100% of the day. Dang near. Like, I dang near don't get off. Unless I'm asleep. Giving wifey some time. Record a YouTube video. Stop by the Twitter. Splash Edition. DM me with any questions or comment and give me any questions. Make sure you turn on them noties so you know whenever I'm doing something. I love every single one of y'all. Make sure you have a blessed day. I'm out. Peace.